Hi everyone, welcome to day 11 of my art challenge. Today I'm going to be showing you a different medium that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be using Gouache. The last one I did, I used Winston and Newton, but today we're using the Royal, not Royal Talents, but Talents. And this, I've done a review of it and I enjoy using it. In here, there are eight pieces and I am going to also do a review of how I'm going to put them into the little half pans and how to preserve them. But today I'm taking some roses and some flowers from my garden. I'm going to be using this. So come along as I show you. So here we go guys. I've finished the sketch. I used my Pentel Graph Gear 1000 and this is the 0.5 and now I'm just taking a look from what my instructor told me. Just take a look at the flower and since this is going to be the only time I'm going to use this, some of my instructors recommended that you take a picture of it. It's going to take you a longer time to finish the illustration, but I'm going to attempt to do this with Grouch because with watercolor, one of the last classes I took, my instructor taught us how to take the picture, take a picture, and also just save that picture so you can always reference that picture when you if you leave it and have to come back. But I'm using Grouch, so I'm going to just I'm just looking, you know, I'm turning it around, looking at the shapes. Looking at the colors inside, I can see there are different colors in the roses here. I can see some white, some yellows, some greens in there and on the stamen. So I'm going to get my colors ready and I'll be right back. So guys, I wanted to tell you again, if you are looking for a gouache that you know it's not going to give you any issues, I really and highly recommend this Royal Talents gouache. The first time I used it, I could definitely tell you I was like, wow. I paid a lot for it. I can't remember how much, but I'm going to go back and, on my Amazon account and look how much I post the link if I can find it for you guys. But one thing I can definitely tell you that if I'm using it, I can see how when you dilute it with water, it's like watercolor. It, it feels like watercolor when in the, it's also very thick. And when you dilute it, you, you would think like you're using like a watercolor and it's so easy, so smooth. The consistency is so smooth and easy to mix. So I have mixed some greens for the inside the roses, some light green, I've mixed it with the yellow. I'm gonna bring it all close to get this color of the yellow here, right there. Inside, if you can see it. Okay, and then I mixed the dark pink and then I mixed the green i mixed it with a little bit of yellow to get this yellow that you can see it has it's not all the way green but it just has a little bit of yellow at the back and as you can see we have some yellows right here and also we have the dark green because these leaves are darker than the regular green the regular leaves some of the leaves are lighter and some of them are darker and i have some browns i'm going to make some browns for like the inside also of the stem stamen do i say stamen or the inside of this uh, the rose so i'm going to speed it up and i'm going to be applying i'm going to start with the branches first and i'll go from there Uh, 
now what I'm gonna do is the pink that I just mixed right here. I'm gonna do it all over the roses. And this I diluted it with water, a little bit of water. I'm gonna flip this so I can reach right here. Sometimes, if you decide you want to dilute it, it still holds its, should I say, hue. It's, it doesn't lose it as like if you dilute it with a uh, watercolor with a lot of water. This holds very well. And I'm just using this round brush by Princeton. I've used it a lot, so the number has worn out. So, should I say, wear out? It's worn out. So, I don't have that number for you. It's just, uh, I believe it's either a side stream, but it's, it's gone. speed up and I'll be back when I'm done. Okay guys, so I'm just adding the last touch of the center for the rose here. I'm using the browns sparingly, just making dots. And then I'm going to take the greens the light green that I mixed with yellow and I'm just gonna make some dots because this is more of a loose illustration not like a detailed botanical illustration and I think that's that's it I'm not gonna go further so one thing I just always I always try to share some things that I learned from maybe either from my experience or from some of the classes I take is that, you know, gouache can be, it has, a, it can stain your brush. So for me, what I did is I separated the brushes that I'm going to be using for gouache. These are my Princeton brushes and this ones I bought them from AliExpress. The last video I did, I also showed you guys, I bought this from AliExpress and this one's I've had the Princeton brushes for a long time. So I got them from Amazon. So I separated them. So I don't, you know, I can preserve the life of my brush. So I'm not using my regular brushes for watercolor. I'm not going to be using it for gouache because gouache can stain. And I've tried to wash my, these brushes you know, numerous times to see if I can get the stains off, but they don't, they're not coming out the bristles. So that's why I just decided that I'm just gonna keep the Princeton brushes and some of these cheap brushes I brought from AliExpress. I mean, sorry, Timo, I'm gonna use those for gouache and I'm gonna keep some of this, the expensive one, like the Xquarter brushes that I just ordered that I showed you in my last review. I'm gonna be using this for watercolor. This is Xquarter and I looked here on Amazon. I looked on Amazon. I noticed that they were sold out. This is size 8, 18 and 12, and I've really enjoyed using them. These are a mixture of squirrel and synthetic fiber, and they really absorb water and they are very soft. When I first got them, if you feel, even right now, when you feel the bristles, they are very thick and stiff, but once you dip it in water, it's very soft. So I definitely recommend them. Uh, so that's all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you picked up something and um, let me know what you think I need to improve. And as I said, I'm trying to grow my channel to 50 subscribers before September 10. We have today's the first day of September. 
So please support my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.